Hey YouTube, thank you for watching. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install the Blackhawk Sportster 9, 9 to 13 inch bipod on your rifle. And today's test dummy will be the Ruger 7717 in 17 HMR, of course, with stock bolt action rifle. Nice little gun, love this. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. It's, and now this bipod isn't high dollar by any means. It's not top of the line. I'm not saying this is the best one to go out there and buy it today. But for what I need to do, 45 bucks, I really can't beat it, I don't think. So, anyways, let's take a look at it. Right here underneath, you'll have a couple little legs, I guess you could call it, with pins on them. And you'll have to get those to go up through this hole right here. So just flip it around, you might have to play with it a little bit to get them to go through. But once you get them through like that, make sure this adjustment screw right here is backed all the way out. So that way they open up real and wide. Because that's going to go through your, your sling stud on your on the stock of your rifle. Anyways, you'll get, get your rifle. Hang on a second. make that a little bit easier anyways you'll get it you're gonna want the legs to fold forward but these right here those little two pins I got rods like I said pins whatever you want to call them are gonna go through that sling stud on your rifle so just get them to go on push them up all the way make sure they're out so they can go around and over and they'll just fit into that hole right there where your sling normally go Get them on there and push this plate up against the stock of your rifle and turn this adjustment screw all the way so it'll actually suck it up and tighten it down against the stock on your rifle. Get a screwdriver, make sure it gets down good and tight. Especially on a wood stock rifle, you don't want it sliding all around and scratching up that beautiful stock. But anyways, that should be getting tight. And there you have it. And like I said, the art, it's adjustable, 9 to 13 inches. All you do is just pull out the legs, like so. And there you have it. And just pull out the legs, turn these adjustment screws down to lock it into place. Make sure you do that, otherwise they can kind of, you bump it, they can suck back up in there, and you don't want that. And to put them back in, it's pretty easy. Just turn it, turn that locking screw up and push down right above it and it sucks right in on in there like that also too on this one it's you can swivel it this little nut right there just turn that and then you can you can swivel it left or right you can swivel it over here and then lock it into place like that turn it again it's pretty nice. I like it. Nice little feature on there. And also, too, one thing. Uh, you obviously took up the sling attachment point on your gun by installing this. But, if you look right here, it's got another place, uh, another hole where you can install the sling right there, right above the uh, swivel adjustment screw. So, I thought that was pretty nice. But, anyways, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's not top of the line by any means, but for what I need it to do, it's a nice little, nice little bipod for me. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the uh, comments below. I always love hearing feedback on my videos. But until next time, y'all have fun.